Hello everyone, my name is Kevin from Haikaido FPV, and today I'm going to talk about a mod I did on my FlySky FS i6S controller. I made it so that it's rechargeable through micro USB, and it also has LED light indicators to show how fully charged the battery is. Another cool thing about this mod, I actually have another USB port that can power on other devices or charge other devices such as a cell phone. As I will demonstrate, I will charge my cell phone right now. So first you need to unplug the charger because it will not power on with it plugged in. Second, power on the controller. You can see that it has a fully charged battery. Uh, next, I will plug it into my cell phone. And now it's charging my cell phone and I can use my drone at the same time. Um, the battery went down a little bit because now the voltage is being shared. Um, I can also power my EV100 goggles by Isheen without a battery. Uh, just by plugging in the micro USB, it will power on my goggles. Um, as you can see, uh, they are powered on. Searching for a channel right now, and there we go. Um, my drone is not powered on. Uh, if you give me a second, I'll power my drone on so you can see that my drone is also powered on. Okay. Take off the lens here, and now we can see. So now you can see here, you can actually see the image uh, hardly. Um, I'm also going to show that I will turn on my drone just a little bit. And the goggles are working. Here is the battery for my EV100, which is also a smart battery, showing the battery voltage. So I'm going to head and turn that off. So if you're wondering how I did this mod, well, I've seen a bunch of videos on YouTube uh, talking about battery mods using cell phone lipos and uh, RC lipos. And I got to thinking, why not use a portable cell phone charger? Um, it's got all the smart indicators. It does everything and more. So I went to the store, uh, to a dollar shop, and I bought this little thing for $5.00. It's a 3,000 milliamp battery. Um, it does 5 volts, 1 amp, and I opened it up and I threw it in there. So what I did was, I it looks just like this. Comes with this little crappy charger, don't need it. Um, I have this other one that I took apart. And I already installed it, so I can go ahead and open my controller and show you guys. So now I'm going to power down my controller. And it's very easy to open. So let's flip it over here and let's pop off these things. So you just got to put some pressure and this pops off. Put some more pressure on this side and this will pop off. You got four screws. So let's go here and take it off. So this modification is very nice. It's, it brings your controller to something that most controllers are not able to do right now. Um, just by combining a simple $5 charger for your cell phone and you can power your controller and other devices. It's pretty nice for $5, I gotta tell you. And especially because the FlySky FS i6S is already cheap itself, you don't wanna put a lot of money into it. Um, you want a good controller for the cheap, and that's what I'm giving you guys. I'm showing you how to make the most high-tech controller you can possibly make for the cheapest price. So let's go ahead and take off. So as you can see, I'm going to open up this controller for you. And here it is. I got the battery right there. It's a LiPo battery, and I even got the, the controller board for it. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug it so we can look a little closer. So all it is is just two cables that connect the other piece. 
And originally these two red wire, red and black wires were connected to the double A charge. And I desoldered this and I took it off by melting it with a soldering iron because I did not have a Dremel. If you look up closely, I before this board was connected to here. I desoldered this board from the battery and then I put two wires to extend it so that way I can shape it into putting it here. Um, it's a very very simple and sleek mod. I think it's one of the best I've seen so far. Um, could be a little bit neater. I didn't use a Dremel so I recommend if you want to try this mod to use a Dremel to get a nicer fit. Um, other than that this mod works perfect. Um, I can go ahead and open the back off to show you how I did it. I put a piece of plastic right here that way nothing can get in, no debris can get inside and the battery is um, taped down with double sided tape. Um, that's pretty much it. It's got the LED indicators on the side. It shows you how charged the battery is. If you just go like this, I can check it also that way. So let's go ahead and put it back together. Just connect these two cables. The power cable. And the other controller cables and it should close up very nicely it's a very nice fitting mod don't have to keep taking out the battery to keep charging it can just charge it with USB uh, very simple very straight to the point and you can power other devices and even charge your phone out in the field ahead and put all the screws back and then we'll put the covers so if you're curious on how I did this mod and you guys want to see the instructions just go ahead and leave a comment and I'll go ahead and do it uh, my friend up in California I'm in Japan uh, he's gonna do the same mod and maybe I can get him to do a video on the teardown but I did take pictures as I did the mod. I just did not do a video because I wasn't sure it was going to work um, until after I got it done. Just like this. Nice and sleek. You can also check the LED indicator by just clicking this one time. It will show how charged the battery is. Um, after that, you can power it on. Oh, make sure all your switches are up. And there it is, fully charged on the TX, and you can power it. But make sure you actually set it to 5 volts because a USB charger throws out 5 and not the 6 that's normally coming with these. So make sure you change that to 5 volts. Um, well, that's all for this mod, so stay tuned. Thanks.